Puhoi, a rural community north of Auckland, was colonised in 1863 by a small group of Bohemians from the area near the border between Germany and Czechoslovakia. Isolated by geography, the settlers retained much of their Bohemian language and music. Houses, stores, a school and church were followed in 1900 by a hall, which is still standing. Dancers in this hall were accompanied by Bohemian musical instruments such as the doodle sack, bagpipes, violin and accordions. And in the same hall, in January 1993, the five members of Puhoi's Bohemian band gathered to play a sample of their repertoire and to reminisce about their experiences in the community. How old was I when I started playing the accordion? Well, I was uh, nine years, five months and five days old. And really? that, that, yes, that was uh, 129 of June, 1929. It, it was on one of our well, anniversary nights when I started playing. It was at nine o'clock in the evening. But just the tune I, I played, that's one thing I, I can't remember, but it, it would have been one of our old Bohemian tunes. And it, it's, it's from that night on that we sort of carried on with this music here. of my father and my father used to spoil me a lot and I used to sit right beside him. I had a special stool he made for me to sit by in the kitchen and I always had that stool beside him and I watched him and I really admired him and my ears and eyes were on him whenever he played and I used to take this uh, big table out from the kitchen and put it outside on the grass and dance if they had a party at night and he'd be playing and I'd be watching everything. And I, one day when he was out working, I don't think I was going, because he only started school when you were six. So I got it down and I played just as though I'd been playing all my life. And I never thought about what I was doing. It just came to me naturally. Yes, we had those old accordions, with, like Freddie said, those stops on top here. They used to have about three or four or five stops. Yeah. And uh, that they, they used to order the, the, the pitch of the accordion. Can I demonstrate a bit here? Yeah. L -l 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 like, like. Well, then if you push that over. That, that, 
that's what those stops did. It's different now if you push in and different when you pull it out on mm. the same key, whereas a piano accordion is exactly the same in or out. And that's what gets them. But I remember playing up here, I've been playing in bands, so you said, well, look, when did we start with uh, Charlie and you and that Horner boys? Oh yeah, that, that was it. That was one of those yeah. photos down there where mm. my trousers are coming down and uh, dirty shoes and that. And uh, I fell off the stage here flat on my back and I never missed the beat. They were still. <laughs> I was in tune with them and I, I looked up and I just got up and kept, I walked back and still playing with them. <laughs> yep. <laughs>
Philip and I were the culprits who learned together. Mum and Catherine and Mum and was away in Auckland. Mum had an accordion and that was tapu, no one touched it. She'd put it in a wardrobe and she'd have a shoe here and something else there and hiding it and then Mum would go off to walk with so Philip and I would sneak in there and pull everything back and you remember where it went and then we had a go. I think the first tune I ever played was Come Our Maidens. So we'd, when it was finished and we'd put it back and... But we also, we, we sort of had mouth organs and once you can play a mouth organ, well you could play, we could play one of these.
around about 10 or 11 we started playing the accordion. And it wasn't until uh, I was about 16 or 17, my great uncle Jim Rowner uh, and Simon Bai, and I think Uncle Ben was there, came over for Christmas dinner. And they were playing in the afternoon after lunch. And um, they got the music out and Uncle Jim Rowner said, would I like to have a go? So I had a go and I blew it up and when the bag was full, I could actually get a few notes out of when they played one verse, but then the bag got empty. And then I had to rebuild it up again to fill it up and then, and then, then I could get a few more notes. And it took a, but then I never had another 12 months again. Then I'd have another go at it. But when I did start, uh, he lifted over there one time, then I could start playing and I could keep the bag full. You've got to keep a rhythm on one hour, and you've always got to remember that if the ear goes in, you've got to let the arm go a bit. And, and from then on, I sort of, uh, we're really in the 40s before I really got going. Or... Could you tell us something about the doodle sack car, Philip? Well, the original doodle sack was uh, dog skin, and uh, uh, as the moths ate it up, uh, the, the, the next one they used, we tried to make was uh, the bag was a goat skin, but it was too porous at the ear out, and now. The, uh, the old one is actually uh, vinyl on it. On the, uh, Can you tell us something about how it works? What have you got there? I mean, well, there's a charter, a, dr a drone, in, in the charter, and uh, it's got seven notes on the down on the charter part. What noise does he make when he calls his mate? <laughs> <laughs> and what, what? Just how do the, the two bags work? One. The bellows blows the bag out. You'd know, you would have known old Baron Horns that played the doodle song. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is, is that the one that you, your mother played the accordion with? No, no, that was old by here. The old, the old grandfather. Oh, the There's a photo in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it done him. Yeah, yeah. And you, you knew him too. Yeah. Yes, yes.
What was music like back in the 1920s when you were a child? Uh, well, that was uh, the old time music my mother used to play with the old head of Paul. He the photo was there. Yeah. She used to play the accordion and he played the doodle sir. That was, uh, that's, that's why we all, we all related and that's how we all play together. It's all, we all, these are my niece, my nephew, these are my cousins. And that's it, right in the family, the music, the, the old time music. Jimmy Smith's father, he used to play the old bagpipe, but do, do the sack what they call it. And this was uh, his daughter's violin, the series, but well, she's dead, passed on now. But the, the, the son put it in the poor eye museum, and I knew the violin, and I said, get it out and give it to me, and I'll go after it. Well, I got it, the worms were in here, and in the neck, I had to pour a hot bees wax in, and then I polished it up part of my hands. She would, she'd be there now, she'd be useless, but she's still a good while in. About 18 or 20 years ago, we all jacked up and we'd go to the Pooi pub on the last Friday night of the month. So we were together at the last Friday night of the month then, and we've done that for 20 years now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.